for all of your fun. In the previous class, we have started with a new chapter known as verbs. So, what are verbs? Any word in a sentence that denotes or that tells us about some action that is being taken place are known as verbs. That means verbs are those words that tell us about some action being done. So that we have already seen in the previous class. And we also saw the two types of verbs. What are they? Transitive and intransitive verbs. Verbs we have seen two of two types. Before that we saw about the direct object and the indirect object of a verb in a given sentence. So there are two types of verbs. What are they? Transitive and intransitive. How do you find out whether the verb is transitive or tra intransitive? Simple thing. You need to question what to the given verb in a particular sentence. And if you get an answer as an object, okay, that becomes a diametrical transitive verb. Transitive verbs are those verbs that requires an object to complete the sentence or to complete the meaning or to have full complete sense. On the other hand, Intransitive verbs are those verbs which does not require an object. So, we have done all this in the previous class and I asked you to do some assignments. So today we are going to do the corrections of those assignments. Hope this is clear to you all. Now here, in the textbook, it says number B. It's written, underline the verbs in the following sentence and highlight the direct objects wherever they occur. So to find out a direct object in a particular sentence, we were supposed to ask the same question. What is the question? What? Okay. Now, let us first of all find the objects in a sentence. Sorry, the verbs in a particular sentence, in the following sentence. The first one we have, Nisha closed the window. So which is the verb here? Verb here is closed. Okay? So to find out whether the object is direct or indirect, what do you do? Question the verb what? Nisha closed. Closed what? The window. So the window is the direct object here. Sentence number two. Hit the ball. Verb is hit. What? The ball. This is the direct object. J. Then, number three, both the sentences are clear to you, but it's going to It's there in the textbook. We boil the eggs in the pan, which is the verb boiled. What did you boil? Eggs. Eggs here is the direct of J. Sentence number four. The kitchen played with the ball. What did the kitchen do? The kitchen played. With what? Play what? The ball. The diagonal J. Number five. He must repair his car. Word is repair. Repair what? Car. Car here is the direct object. Number six. The man lifted the lamp. The word is lifted. Lifted what? The lamp. The lamp is the direct object. Number eight, ring the bell. Verb is ring. Ring what? The bell. The bell is the direct object. Are you getting it? The naughty boy broke the chalk. The naughty boy broke. Broke what? Sorry. Broke the chalk. The chalk is the direct object. Number nine, the principal hoisted the flag. What did the principal do? He hoisted. Hoisted what? Flag. The flag then is the direct of J of the verb given. Number 10. Ruth collects rare coins. Ruth collects. Verb is collect. What does she collect? What does Ruth collect? Rare coins. This is the direct object. Got it? Now, we will go to the next assignment. That was given to you.
the next assignment. Here, what is the next assignment? Underline the words in the following sentences. Identify whether the verb is transitive or intransitive. So how do you find out whether the verb is transitive or intransitive? We find out a given verb as transitive and intransitive by asking a direct question what to the given verb. And after our questioning what to the given verb, when you get the answer, that becomes a transitive verb. Or in other words, transitive verbs are those verbs that requires an object. Let's say in the first sentence, we clean our room every day. Verb is clean. What do we clean? Our room. So it means an object, therefore this is transitive. Okay? T for transitive. Susan gave a flower to the teacher. Susan verb gave. Give what? Flower. Flower is the object here. So again here, it requires an object, therefore the verb is transitive again once again. Tina and Karu seem unhappy. The verb here is seem. Okay? Please pay attention to the sentence. Tarun and Sima seem unhappy. Seem what? Unhappy. But here, the verb seem is not a transitive verb. It is intransitive. Why? Because here, in the sentence, this object refers to the subject itself. Who? Tarunina and Sima. It refers to them. It doesn't have a direct object. So therefore, the verb here in the particular sentence is intransitive. Are you following? Next one. We live in Madrid for nine years. Verb is live. What? Do you get an answer? No. If you get where, you get an answer. So we cannot question where. We question what. Therefore, here the verb is again intransitive. The children laughed at the joke. The children laughed. Okay? What did the children do? They laughed. Laughed what? We do not mean anything. Again, here we have intransitive. Okay? My sister moved. Verb is moved. Moved what? The cupboard. The cupboard. So here we have an object. So it is transitive. Did you find the verb is find? Find what? The house. So we have an object which requires an object. So therefore this is again a transitive. The mathematics professor explained the lesson. Mathematics professor explained. Explain what? The lesson. So therefore this is again a transitive verb. My sister and I always disagree. The verb here is always. Disagree is not the object because here in this particular sentence, once again, this disagree refers to whom? My sister, both these subjects. So it doesn't require an object or it doesn't answer the question. Why? Therefore, this again, like in sentence number three, is intransitive. In trust. Number 10. The painters painted the building yellow. What did the painters do? They painted. Painted what? The building. It requires an object. Therefore, it is transitive. The watchman blew his whistle. What did the watchman do? Blew. Blew what? His whistle. So then we have again a transitive. So these are the answers to the questions or these are the answer what you call solutions for your answers. Please do check it out in your textbook and correct it. Now we go to the next one, the last exercise that I asked you to do in the previous class. The last one for the day will be this exercise. The picture is not very, very straight and clear. Still, I will read it for you. Identify the verbs in these sentences and state whether they are transitive, like the previous lesson, what you call previous exercise, T for transitive and I for 
internal. Also mention the direct and the indirect objects in case of a transitive verb. If it's a transitive verb, we need to find out whether direct object or an indirect object. Now let's see the first sentence. The verb. Our guy told us. Verb is told. Told what? Interesting story. This is the direct object. Okay? And the verb is transitive because it has an object. Told us. What? Interesting story. Us here is an indirect object. Okay? Told what? That question. Story. To who? To us. This is an indirect object. Set the two. I bought a purse for her. The verb is bought. Bought what? A purse. Purse here is a direct object. Okay? So the verb here bought will be transitive. For whom? For her. This is going to be the indirect object. Okay? Transitive verbs, we question what? And we get, when we get an answer, that becomes a transitive. Only what? Number three, the patient caught. The verb is caught for a long time. What did the patient do? He caught. So here it is complete itself, so we do not need. Here, so this is intransitive. Number four, Nidhi spoke softly to the children. What did Nidhi do? Nidhi spoke. What? We don't get an answer. How? We get an answer. So therefore here the verb spoke is intransitive. Intransitive. Number five. Rupa gave Aman three shells. The verb is gave. What did Rupa give? Rupa gave three shells. So three shells here is the direct object. To whom? Aman is the indirect object. Recalling. Number six. Gita is a polite child. Okay? Gita is. A verb we have it. Okay? Polite is not a verb. So here, Gita is what? A polite child. What is Gita? Is a polite. Here it is an intransitive. Seema sent her aunt a postcard. Seema sent. What did Seema say? Postcard. Postcard is the direct object. To whom? Her aunt is the indirect object. Number eight. The president awarded him a gold medal. The verb is awarded. Awarded what? Gold medal. This is the direct object. To whom? Him is the indirect object. So here the verb is transitive. Number nine. Neha likes to eat chocolate. What does Neha like? What? Neha likes what? Eat chocolate. Neha likes to eat. Eat what? Chocolates. Okay, your verb can eat also, likes also. Let's take eat. Neha likes to eat what? Verb eat chocolates. Direct object. So it is trust. Number 10. I promised them my support. I promised verb. What? My support. Sorry. My support is the direct object. Who? Here is the indirect object. Do you get me along? So one thing that you need to know is there are two types of verbs. Before that, you need to know what verbs are. Verbs are those words that denote some action. And two types of tra verbs, transitive and intransitive. To find out whether the verb is transitive or intransitive, we question the verb what. A verb may have a direct object and an indirect object. Especially transitive verbs have direct objects and indirect direct objects. To find out whether the verb is transitive or intransitive, we just need to question the verb what. And whatever answer that we get, the first answer, that is going to be direct object. Next one, for whom, how, etc. becomes an indirect object.
hope this is understood and please do your corrections in your textbook or the exercise book itself okay this was for today see you next class when we will be beginning a new chapter so all the best take care